All right, what's up, what's up, guys? The HRKS here back with another Heroes of the Storm video. We're going to go ahead and we're going to actually play the new champion, Greymane, today. Um, I've been playing quite a bit on my stream, and I really enjoy him. I'm a huge assassin player, and I... Worgen, man. How can you not beat Worgen? Especially the leader of Gilneas. It's just, just set up to be great, so let's get into it. Gilneas will rise again. See you guys in the battlefield. Oh, this new crazy mother. <laughs> All right, guys. We do find ourselves on the tomb of the Spider Queen. This is actually my highest win rate map at the moment. Um, so I hope that means we're going to have some good luck. I don't really know. Um, so far what I've been liking to do is I have been liking to pick up this Wolf Heart, which makes our W here. Um, reduce its cooldown by one second per hit while it's active. Um, basically what our W does is it gives us a 50% attack speed bonus for 3 seconds. Um, but every basic attack refreshes that cooldown. So it lasts for 3 seconds each time you hit something. And then it reduces the cooldown, which is a 16 second cooldown every time you hit something. Um, so as, as long as you get 16 auto attacks, it, com it makes it completely refreshed as soon as it comes, as soon as you stop attacking something, basically. Um, really quickly, we're going to run through the teams. Our team is Karazim, Thrall, Greymane, Sergeant Hammer, and Kerrigan. The enemy team, Greymane, Nazebo, Jaina, Tyrona, and Rhaegar. Um, they're quite bursty looking, it seems like. Um, we're going to hop on this Nazebo here. Our Q, if, while in our human state, throws out this vial that when it hits something... I missed. <laughs> it. After that, it shatters and does like a kind of an AoE hit. Um, our E turns us into a Worgen, we pounce on him, and we can go ahead and do a bunch of damage that way. Um, apparently the whole team's gonna come and gank us, and we're gonna die, because all because four of them came out of nowhere. Um, anyway, as a Worgen, our Q is called a Razor Swipe, which lets us do a little bit of um, kind of an AoE dash attack forward that, you know, just does some pretty decent damage. And it moves us a little bit forward, and then our E in our working form is called Disengage, which allows us to roll away as a human, which is nice if you need either a good getaway or to kind of catch up to somebody. It's not too bad. We're going to go ahead and we're going to pop our W here just to try to push this lane a little bit faster. We're not doing too good. Their team's kind of destroying us, so that's what I meant by what our W does. We're just going to hop over this, and we're just going to beat the hell out of this guy. Um, so our human form does have range, which is awesome because he has a pistol, and when we're in Worgen, when we're a Worgen, we obviously don't have that range, because we are very close quarters kind of a guy at that point. Um, we're going to go ahead and turn in these, uh, spider, these spider parts. I guess it's their butt, huh? Spider bits. <laughs> I like how we kill the red ones and it gives us blue butts. Because it's logic and colors and all that goodness. Um, a lot of people seem to like to get the disengage grant stealth. Um, I've been liking the thick skin, um, which re which reduces the next two basic attacks against you as a warden by 50%. Um, I don't really know what's the best here. I'm going to go ahead and pick up thick skin just because it kind of lets us engage a little bit easier as a warden without as much worry. So that way I'm not quite as scared. Oh, oh, we're gonna go away just a little bit. Just do a little bit of damage onto this. Apparently we killed a Tyronda somewhere. I'm assuming bottom is where that was at. Oh, we got a... That Rhaegar really doesn't necessarily want us to do that. <laughs> um, go ahead and drink from the healer raid here. And we're gonna just kind of push this out if we can. If I knew where Rhaegar was, I would totally pounce on him. But I don't. Oh, there's Rhaegar. Oh, oh, he's gonna slow me. That's fine. That's all good and dandy. I missed. We're just gonna try to turn in. See if we can kind of force a fight, maybe. We're not really set up to be a fight, but it's fine. Ooh, 
Oop, I didn't get many into auto attacks. See if I can. Nope, I missed it. Okay. And we're just gonna try to push this lane out a little bit. But yeah, I have been really enjoying Greymane. Um, I've been playing him quite a bit. I believe he is level five. Maybe almost level six, somewhere around there. Um, so I'm trying to get that next skin color because the next skin color is actually really good. But I thought about buying the bundle, but I didn't really care about the mount or the the whatever this skin's called. It looks like a circus ringleader kind of a thing. I didn't really like it at all. But he's he's definitely an interesting assassin. He's not very ambushy or bursty. He's very a uh, sustainy assassin, and it just this one mechanic where he turns into a worgen and kind of dashes around, he kind of does a lot more damage as a worgen. Makes him super entertaining to me. I don't know why he's so much fun. We're going to go ahead at this level pick up with Wizened Duelist, which is a lot like the... Uh, what is it called? It, that gives you ability power. So basically every takedown gives you 3% maximum... Uh, um, 3% basic attack damage and then to a maximum of 30%, so you can get up to 10 stacks, basically. I'm gonna pop our W here and just start auto-attacking some things. I'm gonna hop on this Nazebo if we can, take a little bit of damage from the turrets, but it's fine. Um, just gonna stay warden and form, just kinda do a bunch of damage to here. Thank you. Unless they want us to turn in, which is very wise. I'm gonna roll, actually, just so we're human. It's kind of weird because you, you want to know when you want to be set up as a human and when you don't want to be, because it's really nice to be human and have that range so you can sit on the back line and then when you're ready to dive in, that you can just turn into a worgen and pounce on top of somebody. Um, so it's a kind of a strange, really strange playstyle that takes a second to get used to. Like right now, I'm liking to just kind of sit back with my team, kind of let the minions push ahead so I can just kind of shoot from a distance, use my Q, kind of just poke at them. And then since they're behind this wall, you know, I can just kind of sit back here to say distance. And then say if we were to all go in, I don't know if we really are or not. We probably really shouldn't if we are. Just kind of sit back here and let this... Spider Queen push. I'm just gonna pop our W again. Push this wall. One of my favorite things is that when I am close range with him as a human form, he does use his sword to actually punch, to actually slice whatever he's attacking. That's probably one of my favorite little touches. Because there's, if you ever play like League of Legends, we're gonna go in right now. Actually, really hard. Ooh. Got her. Picked up the Jaina as well with our Q. Be very pretty, very pretty. Um, I guess we'll help these guys right here. We can actually just turn Warden form just so we can get kind of that AoE, a little bit more AoE with our Q. Because our Q does refresh a lot quicker as a Warden than it does when we're the human. We're just going to mount, which will turn us back into human, which is kind of strange. I kind of almost wish that when you're at Wargain and you mounted, you would run, kind of like you do in WoW. I don't know if you've ever played World of Warcraft as a Wargain. But if you play it as a Wargain, like, you have a, like a running speed version of, of yourself that you can use where you're not on a mount. You just kind of run. Which is super fun. Um... Every time I've gone for go for the throw, um, I feel like this could be really good because it makes them more vulnerable and then still gives you another leap. So you can leap as... I wonder if it makes you use your E. But you can leap with your ultimate, which then I think would leave your E open. I'm not really entirely sure on that. Um, I kind of want to go top and help out this giant push. So I'm not really sure, but I'm going to go for go for the throw again. Sometime I will try out marked for the kill. Because I do think it would be kind of interesting. Oh, I missed. Oops. But if we do kill them with our ultimate on our... On Go for the Throat, you get another 
free version of it for a couple seconds. I think it's like 12 seconds or something like that. 10 seconds. Yeah. Well, it's not too long, but it's not, you know, it's not super short either. But it's really nice because it lets you kind of do that burst to a couple people all at the same time. We're gonna go ahead and take that guy out. Boom. Oh, 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 we're gonna have to jump in here. We're gonna actually ult Jaina and then ult Azebo. And then we're gonna Q him again. Beautiful. We're gonna roll out of that range. Use a Q to kind of do AoE damage to all the minions here. Help our W so we can start shooting everything down really quickly. We do probably need to actually change lanes. I will try to get up to at least a couple shots here. Help him take out this fort. There's no reason we shouldn't be able to right now. Oh, I got stunned. Okay, okay, time to run. Let's see if we can get far enough so that our Karazin can actually jump to us. Nice. Beautiful. Beautifully done. Um, What do I want? I forget. I forgot what I get here. I like the movement speed. I don't know why. I just think it's nice to have that like a little bit of extra kind of engage while my W is active is what that does so it gives me 30% um, increased movement speed while active for 3 seconds and I think that resets with everything else too oh crap I don't want to be here I don't want to be here I don't want to be here at all he went invisible Ooh, that last second. <laughs> that last second seven side strike to save him for a minute. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna try to pick this up without dying. Ooh, but we're, they're gonna get a lot of damage on me. That's, that's fine, I'm just gonna go back. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, I'm going back. No, I'm not. <laughs> I don't know, I can't make up my mind, of, uh, apparently. Oh god, don't die. Don't die. I'm so scared. We have no idea how scared. We're gonna jump on him. We're gonna jump on him. Yeah, the Kerrigan. <laughs> oh man, that was so good with the Kerrigan. Ow. That was rude. Okay, now I have to go back for sure. Alright, and then we're gonna push top. Because this Nazebo is gonna stop this push and probably push it out. Because that's what Nazebo does really well. He is a specialist after all. Um. How are we doing? Not too bad. We're not doing great. We're not doing terrible. Pick up all these spider belts. Pop our, pop our W. Just start doing a bunch of damage. See that extra little movement speed is it's kinda nice, I think. We have seven seconds, six, five, four, three, two, one, just running around circles. Turn it in, turn it in. Before I die, because I have 18, 18 of these fucking things. Oh, almost. Turn back into a human. What? Ah, I'm so bad with my Q. It's so narrow, it's weird to use. Ow. Dodge the second one, that's good. And we're just gonna kind of pull back. There is an invisible. I was like, who's invisible? I was like, they don't have a Nova, do they? But it was it was their Rhaegar. Which makes sense. There he is again. Oh, and Tyrande ult. I forgot about the Tyrande ult. Ooh, oh, all the damage. The Thrall, the Thrall ult, the Karazim ult. That was beautiful. That was super sexy. Um, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna dash onto him, ult him. And then we're gonna ult you. Ah, oh, no way! I'm gonna auto that just so we could try to keep our auto up, but it didn't really work. I can't catch up to him. Hopefully the Kerrigan can finish him off. He almost got his ultimate. Kerrigan just barely stopped it. That was super clutch. If you don't know what Rhaegar's ultimate is, it does do like a gigantic heal. It takes a couple seconds to go off, but when it does go off, it's a huge amount of health. Um, and it probably would have filled him to, whole, to full, actually, if it would have gone off. I barely missed that. That's stupid. Um, I'm gonna back up because that Nazebo will do lots of damage to me. Oh, she's gonna go ham and get that Jaina. 
I can't really help her now though. She's kind of in a shitty situation. Um, we're gonna back up a little bit, and I think we're gonna pick up the elf. Mm. Yeah, we're gonna pick up alpha killer, which is gonna let us do three percent of the hero's maximum health per hit as a worgen. We're just gonna make our worgen even stronger than it already is. Oh, she went invisible. If I could just see her for like two seconds. She's already healed up a little bit. That sucks. Oh, because of her ultimate. Duh. I knew her ult does that. Alright, we did get out of there, luckily. I don't know how we got out of there, necessarily, but we did. We're going to drink some healer raid, and we're going to come back. Um, I don't know what's going on. His fault. If it was just me, I wouldn't complain. Are they talking about me? Are they talking about our support? I don't really know what's going on. Ow. Ow. Oh, oh, I'm gonna die. That's fine. I was trying to protect our carries in, and then hopefully roll away, but they focus me, they turned to focus me really hard. Really quickly. Um, our Sergeant Hammer is doing a good job with what she's supposed to be doing, which is pushing down walls and stuff. But we have people at our front door. Yeah, people are, people are throwing out. They're freaking out. I've done actually the most damage, which is super confusing, considering we have a Thrall and a Kerrigan. But I guess Greymane is actually really strong for an assassin, which is he's just very sustaining, like Vala, in a sense. He's got a little bit of a burst when he turns into his organ form. I don't know. I like him. He's probably one of my favorite assassins at the moment. I wonder if he'll be this strong all the time, because he doesn't feel necessarily OP. But he feels pretty strong. That's for sure. Ow. Just kind of jump on Rhaegar. Do some good damage. See if we can roll. This way. Pop our W. Some autos off right here. Just try to push this lane out really quickly. We're going to have to go to the bottom. here, but we really need to go bottom, like ASAP. There's a lot of spider butts here too. A lot of spider butts to collect. Oops. I'm gonna just pop our W, start attacking everything a little bit faster. And then they want us to turn in, which is fair. I'm at 16, 15? I thought I should have 16, but whatever. Turn in our spider butts. I think she. I think they know we're here. Um, apparently we already got it. I don't know if it'll let me turn in now. I probably should have sent see if it would have let me turn in, but I don't want to necessarily waste them. I've never had that happen to me, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if we can actually kill this in Zebo or not. I feel like he would destroy us. Ow, ow, get off me, bugs. Thank you. Thank you. Die. And now we've got the Spider Queen. Helping us out. We're gonna pop our W, turn into a Rogan, and just try to push this lane out a little bit quicker. We are losing some people on our team. Which kind of sucks. We'll turn back into a human. And we will head this way to help our team fight whatever the hell is going on. They're all just did just get a kill. We're gonna go in. We're gonna just go hard. Ah, oh, I try to try to burst her as much as I could with my ultimate. Someone should pick that up. Pick a talent. We're gonna go ahead and at this one get tooth and claw, which makes our worgen attacks cleave for extra 100% uh, extra damage. Um, I don't know if it's extra for 100% damage, which means we do 100% damage of an AOE cleave. If it's actually really, really nice, especially for pushing lanes. Um, ooh, we did dominate their team. Nice. We might actually win right here. You might not even get to see the cleave go off. They've got nine seconds. We're at their thing. If they will just uh, not attack it. Okay. <laughs> we'll just attack the minions instead. That's fine. <laughs> Whatever. They could at least do at least a little bit of permanent damage to it, right? They're gonna have to back away soon. 
Just, just, just run. Just, she's dead. Good ult, good ult, good heal. I'm not gonna be able to pick that up. It's not gonna happen. I'm gonna try to meet these guys here if we can pick off a couple people. Ooh, good dash. That was a great dash. Well, ult him. If I can get the roll and reach him with my ult, that'll be really good. Not necessarily that I'll live or anything, but you know. Ow, 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 ow. If these spiders won't kill me, bugs, whatever the hell they are. Thank you. That's good. We're gonna hurt right here. That's what we're gonna do. We did pick up two of them with our ultimate. Which is super pretty. Um, where are we sitting at? Kerrigan is doing finally more damage than us, but not by much. And Thrall is not very far behind us either. Thrall is not quite a thousand below us, and Kerrigan's only... Oh, now Thrall's above us. <laughs> and Kerrigan's only like a hundred above us, so... We're all doing... We're all doing our work. There, Nazebo has done 97,000 damage to us. Almost 80. That's ridiculous. Alright, so we're gonna turn to a war and you will see that I will have this AoE cleave going on here. If I can... I'm gonna help bring in these minions from the top wave. You'll see that'll do some AoE damage, which is super nice for pushing out the waves. I don't really know what's going on down here. We won't ult you. Just kidding, apparently not. We'll ult, ult her though. We'll get the kill on her. Beautiful, and the Zeebo's only on live still. The Popper W and we start smashing on this, and that will be GG! Thank you guys so much for, for, for watching. <laughs> don't forget to leave a like, comment on the video, share with me at a time. See you guys in the next one. Peace! Surely here we come, bouncing in. Throw our poisons everywhere. Throw our Q down, get this carries in. Burst my third W just a little bit. Maybe bounce out, because our whole thing is pretty much dead. Um, we'll just go ahead and it's just a whistle upgrade. Like, there's not too much I can.